So what I do is I run a 3D printing company. Um, that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But other than that, I'm an inventor, so I use as much time as I can to create as many devices and products. Um, that's what I normally do. Our education system needs to change drastically, and I think the maker movement is an absolute shining light in this sector. And what this makerspace does is that it hosts competitions for students to basically enter and then venture in, in, those, in those ideas or in those innovations. Technology and innovation is happening so quickly. Universities aren't keeping up with it the way individuals are. So if you have someone teaching this um, on a one-to-one -one, um, level where it's short courses and you're learning how to do Python, you're learning AI, you're learning robotics, which are things that are very current in today's um, day and age, it's very beneficial. One of my inventions is an intelligent brick, which is part of a smart pavement. So this device, what it does, it allows homeowners to detect when a car that's not belonging to the family enters their driveway. We have uh, probably around two, 300 informal crafters that produce products that require assistance with technology to ensure that their products are better quality. I am currently in a project called Magnon, and this is a cheaper, greener alternative um, source of generating electricity. Ventured in the problems that, that, that are faced by many South African uh, rural communities, and that is lack of electricity. I run several tech maker communities. Um, the one is Women in Tech Cape Town where we empower gender diversity, so we work very closely with women and girls of young ages and we try and encourage them to get into the tech sector or if they're in it already, we try and empower them from there. So what the soccer ball does is we've added electronics into the soccer ball. So there's a microcontroller, gyro, and accelerometer inside the soccer ball. It allows a player to juggle the ball and count the, the number of times it juggles the ball on an app. And what we want to do is ultimately create an app that people from around the world can use so people can compete, each other, compete with each other. You can pay a score to somebody in Germany, in Japan, in Brazil, and so on. The significance of making in the South African context is that it's just part of who we are. I got into making by, by always being busy tinkering, making something, and it actually became my career. I think it's curiosity for me. I'm always challenging the unknown. I really see it as a a platform for the curious and for the guys that don't quite know why they're obsessed with certain things and uh, a community to help enable, help enable that and other, other people to bounce ideas off. Uh, making uh, for us, it, it means you know, having to have an idea. Uh, obviously you can conceptualize on it, you know, you have guys in the space uh, that you share the idea with, uh, get to hear what they think about it, we collaborate on things, uh, and just taking that idea and bringing it to life, uh, whether through 3D printing, you know, laser cutting, or, you know, yeah, a whole lot of tools we have in the space.